Hey guys, Mike here. So this is what the finished floor looks like. This was uh, 3,700 square feet of uh, polyaspartic flake coating. Hey guys, this is a little ramp we just completed. This was part of a project we did last year where you might see, you might have seen this video where we did this stamp concrete patio here. So now they just wanted a little ramp. Hey guys, this is a floor we did a little while back. It's a reflector enhancer metallic epoxy concrete coating. We just give it a new top coat. It's about four years old. This is what it looks like. We also did these these concrete stairs too. These stairs are really cool. Here's our stamp concrete project for today. It's a 28 by 20 patio. We got it all formed up, got it squared. We got two inches of styrofoam under this one and we got a mat of rebar in it. It's about five inches thick. So what we got coming is we got 4,000 PSI concrete coming with 3-8 stone and we put some uh, gull gray color in it. And we're gonna stamp this a stone texture today. So just gonna wait for the concrete to show up. Quite a bit of this slab is in the sun still, but there's still some in the shade. And the part that's in the shade is a lot softer than the parts in the sun. So that's gonna happen a lot when you stamp concrete. So you just have to kind of work your way towards the shade as close as you can get to it. And then you're going to have to wait until it's ready. You just can't go stamping in the shade pot if it's too soft. Hey guys, we're here getting some wire at the concrete supply place we get our supplies at. <clears throat> got to put it up on the rack today. Usually we got a trailer we put this stuff on, but the trailer's all full of lumber right now. So we'll put it up on the rack and get it secured up there. That's going to go in a garage that we're getting ready to pour tomorrow. So we got the wire mesh we're putting up there. We got these slab bolsters. We're going to compact it. We got some poly we're going to put under it. That's how we get our wire loaded, guys. Okay, so here's a concrete countertop uh, we just refinished this morning. We, we had to grind this down. It's about 10 years old. It was really dull looking, had no finish left on it. So we took the grinders out, grinded it down, and put a new coating on it. And this is what it looked like. Walkway, stamp walkway we're doing today. We got one on the back of the house here. We got one on the front of the house. Put the one out back. Take a walk out front. Two different patterns we're doing today. We're doing a stone texture out back. We're doing an ashlar slate out front. Both are four feet wide. About five inches thick. That's that's what we're doing today. All right, so here we are, all stamped out. This one was just a stone texture, like I said this morning. This is about this is about five hours after we got it poured. 
stone texture that matches that patio we did a couple weeks ago. So this is the this is the walkway out back. Let's go check out walkway out front. We did all the concrete here. We did the garage slab. We did the house slab. Here's the front walk. We did the front walk in Ashler Slate, as you can see. That's that. And then while we had a little time to kill, the guys carved a fish. So what we're doing here is we're staining, we're staining this big concrete patio here. It's about 4,000 square feet, and this is the, the main maritime museum in Bath, Maine. And they want this part to look like the Atlantic Ocean, and then that runs into this this big long river here, which is called the Kennebec River. And the Kennebec River runs into what a big lake in Maine called Moosehead Lake. So they wanted to try to stencil that into this concrete patio and then for us to stain it to look like water. So that's what we did here today. We, we still have the stencil on here we got to pull off. But there's Moosehead Lake. There's the river, Kennebec River. It says Kennebec River right there. And that runs all the way down into the Atlantic Ocean here in Maine. All right, guys. So here's, here's the whole stencil stain without the, without the stencil on it. We peeled the stencil off. This is what it looks like. This is Moosehead Lake. This is in Maine. Um, come right down the Kennebec River here. Kennebec River is one of the bigger rivers in Maine. We're gonna we're gonna install those plaques in there. So there's a couple cities they wanted to highlight. There's Augusta down in the Merry Meeting Bay. Pop them. We've got the Atlantic Ocean here. Goes up into there. There's Monhegan Island right there. This is the coastline. So there's Booth Bay. So we're getting ready to pour this elevated slab on top of this metal decking. This is a second story. There's a there's a basement underneath this. But this is going to be a garage right here, and we're going to we're going to pull the concrete here. You can see the ribs, the the corrugated steel they used to put under this to hold the concrete. It's got three inch, those three inch thick ribs. So over the top of the rib, right here, this part's three inches thick, and then over the bottom rib, it's six inches thick. So it averages about four and a half inches of concrete. This 36 by 28. Now let's take a walk around underneath and see how they braced it up. You can see they got some steel columns right there. They got some of that piece of metal deck in there that they cut out. So we already poured the floor underneath this thing. You can see what it looks like right there. You can see underneath they got those you got those big steel beams going across to hold all the weight. No columns, no columns in here. So the those big beams are rated for whatever weight the floor is going to be. Plus, 
whatever weight they're gonna drive on there for vehicles. Get the concrete poured on top of the corrugated deck. It took 13 yards of concrete, and a yard of concrete's just about 4,000 pounds, so, which is two tons, so it's 26 tons. So we put 52,000 pounds of concrete on top of that decking. And it didn't really seem to be any, any bounce or, or variation in the decking. It seemed to hold it really well without sagging at all. So everything looks good. We just got to get it power trialed now.